Greetings, fellow captains. Update 0.6.5 will feature the first historical campaign, collections, interface improvements, and more. Watch this review to find out what we've prepared for you in the next update. We invite you to take part in the first historical campaign called The Hunt for Bismarck. This campaign is devoted to the well-known operation against the German raider and to the largest sea battle in the North Atlantic during World War II. Back then, the Allies involved several battleships, a group of cruisers, a pack of destroyers, and an aircraft carrier. It's hard to tell whether this set of ships is enough to hunt down Bismarck. But anyway, if you set your mind to performing this naval operation, you have to succeed. You'll need to complete seven missions, which include eight tasks each, and reflect all stages of the well-known sea battle. You'll also find special containers that will only be available during the campaign in Update 0.6.5. Select tasks that suit you and set out to complete them all. Completing the campaign will both give you satisfaction and allow you to get a battleship. If you already have Bismarck in your port, you'll be given a pleasant bonus in credits instead. Additionally, the most courageous captains who complete the new collection will receive unique camouflage for the British hood, which will present the ship in a different way. In campaign containers, you'll find new signal flags with additional bonuses new colorful camouflage, and collection items. Speaking of collections, this is another new feature in Update 0.6.5. Complete the album and get a deserved reward. Become a collector. After you get your first item, you can enjoy your collections in the Profile tab. The first album will be here soon. The Hunt for Bismarck is not just a new campaign. It's also an opportunity for you to collect unique items. Find all 24 emblems of the participants of the operation against the German Raider and get special camouflage, which will turn your Bismarck into a seasoned sea wolf. The chances of getting different elements are the same, so if you have duplicates, you can trade them in to complete your collection. Now, let's take a look at the changes in the interface. From now on, browsing the campaign section will take significantly fewer clicks. The campaign's window has been provided with a mission carousel that allows players to easily look through tasks and missions. To quit a campaign window and get to the port, simply press the Escape key. By clicking the Collect Your Reward button, you'll see the reward that will be added to your account. For your convenience, the signals have been divided into three groups, Economic, Combat, and Special. Finally, the port has been provided with a menu that will help players configure the display of additional content. For example, show arpeggio ships as historical prototypes or hide them completely. Read more about the improved interface on our portal. In Update 0.6.5, the controls for changing ship appearances have become even more comfortable. Following your requests, camouflages can now be removed from the ship without any loss, like signal flags. Good news for Tier 9 ship owners! The appearance of ships has been improved, and their small elements now look more accurate. We hope you'll appreciate it. That's all for now. I'm Dasha Perova. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more news. Meanwhile, I'll keep an eye on your preparation for grand sea battles. Until next time, captains.